This video is how to take apart the operating section of the M1 Grand Rifle. One of the first things that I do to do this is let's make sure that the, the guts are out, the trigger housing is out of the stock. It's basically stripped down as pretty far as it can go. What we're going to end up removing is the op rod catch, the follower rod, the follower arm, which is on the inside and then the follower. The first thing I do is I pick up on the follower a little bit and it'll move the follower arm a bit and then it gives me a little bit better to grab and, and see what I'm doing. I pull back towards the muzzle. It's under a lot of pressure. I pick up a little bit and I slowly release the pressure and I pull out the off rod spring and remove it. For this you can leave the bolt forward and in place. Just like the trigger housing, the pin goes in from the right side of the rifle so we're going to push through from the left with the M2 ball. Since it's not under any pressure, the pin should come easily out. The first thing I take out is the off rod catch tilt it on a little bit of an angle, move it out of the way, then the bullet guide and the follow arm can come out. And the last thing is the follower. And what I'm checking for here is that it moved, the slide moves freely inside the follower, that there's no bulls, uh, burrs on the arms here. It's nice and smooth on the top so that the bullets slide easily and that the whole tracking system flows nicely. Checking my holes and everything, making sure they're good, sized properly. This is a late bullet guide. It has the notch here. And what that does is the size of the acceler uh, this arm is a little bit better for a timing mechanism for here in the accelerator on the op rod catch. This is also a later op rod catch with these larger shoulders. I'm also checking for straightness here. And my arm is not crooked at all. You can also check for the holes and make sure it's tight. And the accelerator should be moved freely. The pin for the accelerator should be usually pinned in place and should not move at all. The follower arm, check for straightness. We're also going to check the edges for burrs. Check the arm uh, at the end of the arms are the bars. Make sure they're not burred, bent, missing. This set for the, the follower guide. And also check the holes for tightness on the pin. There shouldn't be much play in it at all, but it should move freely. Now, when I have an instruction on the clip latch for the M block clip, the arm that comes to the inside of the receiver is here. When we're putting this back together, and I put the, the bullet guide in, it's going to cover it, but I'm going to show you here. We're going to put the op rod catch in there in such a way that it's going to go underneath the clip latch from the bottom. See here? Underneath. Sometimes people accidentally get it like this. And then what will happen is when the bolt comes back, the rifle will not allow the, the follower, excuse me, the op rod to go forward anymore. The bolt will be latched back no matter how far they push down the follower. So you have to be careful how you reassemble these. This goes underneath. Underneath. The next thing we're going to do is I'm going to put the bullet guide in now. Just when you put all these parts in, just make sure that the op rod catch still underneath. I had to rehook it. And the follower. 
and the follower arm. The follower arm just put on a slight angle. I pick up on the follower and I put the arms in the slide holes and then drop it down where the pin area is. And I insert my pin. Should catch everything. I double check on the inside there to make sure that my Op ride catch is underneath my clip latch. You can also test it from this side. If you push down the op ride catch, the M block clip should be able to be moved too. Okay, that's how you know you reinstalled everything. Still with the bolt all the way forward, I take my spring, which on this end is the same diameter as the rest of the spring. This side has the spring head that's tapered down to stay on to the uh, forked area, the op rod guide. I put my hand over the over most of the spring, grabbing the, the base of the, uh, the op rod guide, and I'm feeding it down into the op rod. I pick up on my follower to bring my follower arm out so I can see what I'm doing. I align it. And seed it in. Now there's tension underneath the, the follower and I gently release to the top of the bolt. That's how you take out your innards of your operating mechanism from your M1 Grand and put it back in.